What's going on everyone? Welcome to Train Sim. Today we are taking a look at a new kind of a placeholder for the SC44 chargers. This right here what we're looking at is an Amtrak Pacific Surfliner Alstom ALP-36AC. A fictional locomotive based off of the ALP-45 NJT locomotive. Now this locomotive right here like I said is a pretty much a placeholder until the SC44 chargers come out for this game you know whenever they do come out but I will say this I do like this locomotive a lot and I'm gonna tell you guys here why in a second as I said you will need the AOP uh, 45 NJT engine for this in order for this train to or this locomotive to run but like I said a placeholder for the chargers but let's go ahead and come up into the locomotive here. So, we do have added message boards onto this locomotive, which is really cool. So we use the F7 and F8 keys. So we have AJ Martinez, which is a, a rail fan that uh, supposedly tragically died of some years back. I'm not too sure. I haven't really looked up much into it. I have a feeling he kind of lived along the Pacific Surfliner route or something. But we do have Pacific Surfliner. And we have pretty much every single station that the Pacific Surfliner uh, serves. And, you know, we have all these up to L.A. in the game. But we also have all of them that go up to San Luis Obispo, which is super cool. So, yes, even though we don't have half of these stops, we do have them on the message board, which is awesome. So we'll go ahead and set her down to uh, San Diego. There we go. And we do have LED headlights. That is right. We have actual LED headlights in this locomotive, which I think is a major upgrade to the whatever uh, light bulb we had on the previous ALP45. My opinion, they're just too bright. These LEDs, they're crisp, they're clear, they're like a nice ice white color. They just fit the locomotive perfectly, so I'm super excited about it. Now, there is no auto numbering, so it's just number 4,000. Uh, supposedly, according to the author, there's not going to be any upgrades or any updates to the locomotive. This is kind of just like an as-is type deal. And uh, taking a look at it, it does look really nice. Kind of got that uh, SC44 paint scheme going on there. We got the cow trains. We got the message board on the sides there as well. Taking a look at the other side. Not sure why there's two fuel. Uh, oh, no, those are actually, yeah, two fuel uh, tanks, I believe. That's what those are. Unsure what those are for, but there is two of them. And we do have the wing on the rear of the locomotive that does match the height of the Surfliner cars. Which is awesome. Kind of like the uh, prototypical chargers for the Surfliner have that like little wing towards the back. So that's really cool. In the locomotive here, uh, nothing's really changed in the interior. So we, you know, we don't really have much to change. But we'll go ahead and put the ditch lights on since they're already on. We don't actually have that option even though in the original ALP you do but they do they just come on whenever um, the locomotive is on so we'll set that to forward set you to release get my HUD menu up there just because that's for me it does not have flashing ditch lights unfortunately it does not and we do have the you know the I believe it's the original horn and bell from the A, uh, whatever, ALP45 locomotive. But yeah, very cool. Very cool, especially if, you know, you're looking for a placeholder. Because, you know, the F59s are gone, and that's pretty much what came with this route. You don't really see P42s on this uh, train, on these sets anymore. So if you guys are looking for a placeholder, you know, this would be one of the locomotives to take a look at. I'm not lying to you guys. This is actually a very nice locomotive. It is made by Marty. It is available on the train sim corner. And I'm not too sure why, but supposedly when I looked, was looking up like at the description and stuff, he said that it was not getting a lot of, you know, um, good reviews or people weren't liking it. And, you know, I don't understand why. Like, he did put a lot of, it looks like he did put a lot of time and effort into this, you know, making the lights LED, changing out the, putting the wing on, you know get adding the message boards and stuff so I mean you did a pretty good job on this locomotive I will say that myself and I mean you know I know a lot of us are you know wanting the chargers in the game but 
you know, until a developer decides they want to step up and make it, we pretty much got to put some placeholders in. And, you know, I will say this is actually one of the better ones that I've seen so far. Sure, it's not a charger, but it pretty much resembles a charger for the most part. We'll go ahead and release the brake there. It's got some good brakes on this locomotive, though. And we do have the brake status light as well, so it'll let us know if our brakes are, you know, set, released, whatever. The only thing I wish, though, was that the number on the cab matched the number on the outside. That's the only thing... Or my only kind of gripe with this locomotive and the non-flashing ditch lights. Those are the only like two things I wish would see upgraded, but I understand the developer said he wasn't doing updates to it, so I'm just, you know, I'm just going to let it slide. Just let it slide, I guess. We're all stopped. Everything's all good. Set you to neutral like they do, and we shall put you, keep you in lap. Got alerter, instrument lights, all of that good stuff. Are we good? Looks like we're good. So if you guys couldn't tell, we're just doing a very short run from Old Town to San Diego. Nothing too fancy. I'm not even sure what track in San Diego we're going to be on. Can we open up this window? We can. And it's cool, you can actually you can actually hear when the windows open, the bell does get louder. Very cool. That's a a lot I noticed a lot of like uh older stuff in this game. You open up a window and it just sounds the same. I like that it's actually got the like the dynamic sounds in this uh DLC to the fact of it sounds a lot louder when the windows are open and whatnot. But yeah, very cool San Diego Pacific Surfliner. You know, you can have your stops in just like an SC44 Charger. And it does say AOP-36AC on the side. It says Alstom. Uh, and you got your CDTX 4000. And it does say 4000 up there. But, it, you know, it says 4512 or whatever engine number it's going to be on the interior. But yeah, we are no stranger to this locomotive. We've driven this locomotive quite a few times. And we are definitely going to be taking a look at the counterpart, the ALP45 engine, because someone has actually made repaints for it to kind of resemble the Chargers. So, like I said, we got some placeholders in place. I'm hoping that the, someone makes the Charger soon. So we shall definitely see. But yeah, we do got quite a few routes to look at as well. Um, I have a, it's called the something Quaker Town uh, route that I'm going to be taking a look at. We've got the CP Alder side to take a look at as well. So we do have quite a few routes to take a look at. Um, there's another one. I can't remember what it's called. I know there's a few CSX and NS routes that I have in the game as well. That we're going to be taking a look at here shortly. Now, somebody was, because uh, I remember I did a video going from San Diego to Old Town, and I was basically, like, blowing my horns through all of these crossings because a lot of them say whistle post. And somebody commented on that video telling me that most majority of these crossings here in San Diego are actually not quiet zones. That they are, or they are uh, actual quiet zones. So if you guys do know, let me know if that's true. But yeah, do let me know if that's true. If uh, San Diego does is all quiet zone, kind of like Los Angeles. 
if you know dovetail got this wrong or if it became a quiet zone after this DLC was released I don't know All right, we got an approach here. CDTX 4000 approach. South Ash Main 1, I think. So we got a 15 coming up. Going on track 4. So we're technically running the wrong main, it looks like. Then we got a restricting in the San Diego here. So we definitely were running wrong main the entire way because we're on one of the inbound or outbound tracks as an inbound train. But then again, it don't matter because the train is going to go outbound or inbound anyway. So it's not like it really matters. I want to make sure we're clear of that signal, which I'm pretty sure we are. Oh, yeah, we are. Alright, we'll turn all that off. Uh, we'll keep the cab light on. We'll go ahead and load up passengers. We'll turn the headlights off to the markers so that that way we'll get the headlights because they are the next one out. And then we'll go ahead and change the destination sign to Los Angeles. But yeah, as you can see, we got that light that's yellow now once the brakes are set. And of course, it turns green once the uh, brakes are released. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on this locomotive. Like I said, it did receive a lot of, you know, negative feedback and all that stuff. But, you know, to me, I think it is a pretty damn good placeholder. Because, you know, I mean, it does, it's, it looks similar to a Charger. I mean, it's not 100% prototypical, but it looks similar. And I didn't even mention he ended up having to put this, like, little vent rate or vent like radiator thing that the uh, chargers have on the sides of the locomotive he ended up putting that on this locomotive as well so that's really cool so we have it on both sides interesting i'm not too sure what those are what those are for like they can't be like emergency fuel buttons i don't know i don't know but yeah, guys, that is going to go ahead and do it for this showcase video. Like I said, let me know what y'all think. And I'll, uh, and yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I will definitely catch you guys here on the next video. Peace.